Rocky pressuring right from the start as though determined to end the fight in this round. And as things turned out, that's just the way it happened. Let's watch closely now and see exactly how Marciano knocked out one of the greatest champions the ring has ever known. Rocky's crowding leaves little room for Lewis to punch. Marciano's short arms, normally a handicap, actually are an advantage at close range because he generates terrific power. It's a matter of leverage, properly applied. Here comes that big right we've seen Marciano using throughout the fight. It connects with Joe's ear. Keep watching for that punch. That's the one that spells finish for Lewis. Lewis jabbing, but it's purely defensive. He's flat-footed, tired, as he's driven back to the ropes, a favorite maneuver of Marciano's, one he's been using to good advantage throughout the fight. Marciano exerting more and more pressure as he moves in for the kill. Rocky about to glance a right off Lewis' jaw, and see how quickly he moves in, giving Joe no time at all to catch his breath. Now watch this. Marciano's hard left hook sends Lewis sprawling to the canvas. Referee Ruby Goldstein counts to eight before Lewis gets back to his feet. Rocky tears in to follow through his advantage before Lewis ties him up. You can see that Lewis is in trouble. He's hurt. Marciano, pitching with everything he's got, backs his man to the ropes to finish him off. Now watch. A left. Another left crumples Lewis. A blazing right. And Lewis sails through the ropes. The working press try to help Joe back off the ring apron. Referee Goldstein on the left simply looks at the stricken fighter and knows that the ex-champion is finished for the night. Kneeling in the dark suit is Dr. Vincent Nardiello. Lewis is out. Brought down by a power pack right to the jaw at 2 minutes 36 seconds of the 8th round. This is the second time in his career he was knocked out. And the first since Max Schmeling did it in 1936. Rocky is congratulated by trainer Charlie Goldman on the left and by his old-time friend Ali Colombo. Lewis fought only exhibitions after that. As he himself summed up his knockout by Marciano, the reactions were not there. My age counted against me. The Brown Bomber fell October 26, 1951 in the big fight.